we're back on our journey to discover the weirdest planets in the universe. Planets being at unimaginable distances from its stars. Planets with rings so large that Saturn rings can't even come close. This is what sparks our curiosity. These are the weirdest planets in the universe. Don't forget to support this video by giving us a thumbs up. A planet by the name of HD 106906b. Honestly, this planet's mysteries challenge even the brightest theorists who can't wrap their brains around how this planet came to be. Its star is almost no different from the sun. It's a little bit hotter, but otherwise, our sun is very similar to it. What makes the planet mysterious is the super long distance between the planet and the star. For example, Neptune at the edge of our solar system is 30 astronomical units away from the sun. This means that it exceeds the distance from Earth to the sun 30 times. And that's it. There are no other planets past it. Astronomers seem to have understood why a long time ago, because the planets wouldn't have enough material to form. But this planet, nicknamed the Lone Wolf, is 20 times farther than Neptune. It's so far from the star that it's hard to imagine how it came to be in the first place. Just as hard as to imagine those distances. But let's just try. If we scale the Earth up to the size of a tennis ball and use it as the reference point, we would get the following numbers. The Sun would be about one kilometer away from the tennis ball and have the diameter of a five-story building. And Neptune would be at a distance of 30 kilometers from the Sun. But this exoplanet would be 600 kilometers away from its star. Keep in mind that the size of the Earth equals the size of a tennis ball for the purposes of this explanation. Usually, the planets are formed the following way. A gas cloud is compressed by the gravitational forces and the star is being born in the densest place of this cloud. And the remaining material is used to form the planets. But this one is so distant, there couldn't have been any leftovers. Researchers from all over the world were shocked by the distance between this planet and its star. They came up with an idea that the planet was stolen from another star. The thing is, stars form in groups. There can be a lot of stars in one place. Our sun was born in such a group a long time ago. So when one planet is formed around one of the stars, Another star which could be passing by could pull this planet with its gravitation and steal it. This is why the idea of the lone wolf being stolen from another star makes perfect sense. But this theory comes with a problem. Because the 140 to 1 ratio seems to be on the extreme of what can be expected, the ratio of double stars is usually no more than 10 to 1. Even so, this hypothesis seems to be far more plausible compared to another alternative theory which states that a satellite has been formed close by to the main object and that it was subsequently thrown to the current distance as a result of gravitational interaction with another orbiting object. This second satellite needs to have a mass which exceeds that of the lone wolf and the team who discovered it hasn't found such an object. Also, research has been published in 2015 that suggested that this planet may have been kicked out of its birthplace close to the star in a process similar to what may have happened early in our own solar system's history. The prevailing theory to explain how the exoplanet arrived at such a distant and strangely inclined orbit is that it formed much closer to its stars about three times the distance that Earth is from the Sun. However, drag within the system's gas disk caused the planet's orbit to decay, forcing it to migrate inward toward its stellar hosts. The gravitational forces from the whirling twin stars then kicked it out into an eccentric orbit 
that almost threw it out of the system and into the void of interstellar space. Then, a star passed very close by to this system, stabilizing the exoplanet's orbit and preventing it from leaving its home system. Candidate passing stars have been previously identified using precise distance and motion measurements from the European Space Agency's Gaia Survey Satellite. This scenario to explain HD 106906b's bizarre orbit is similar in some ways to what may have caused the hypothetical Planet 9 to end up in the outer reaches of our own solar system, beyond the Kuiper Belt. Planet 9 could have formed in the inner solar system and was then kicked out by interactions with Jupiter. However, Jupiter would have very likely flung Planet 9 far beyond Pluto. Passing stars may have stabilized the orbit of the knocked out planet by pushing the orbit path away from Jupiter and the other planets in the inner solar system. And so, this rare case has helped us to see this planet. It's so rare to take a real picture of an exoplanet. But this one happens to be so far from its star that its bright light doesn't interfere and makes the planet perfectly visible through a telescope. But there comes a question. If this planet is so far away, is it submerged in pitch darkness? Does it mean that the star doesn't shine its light on the planet? How do we see it then? The thing is, the star itself and the newly born planet or the newly stolen planet are both young and are still hot. When the gas cloud compresses, it becomes hot just as any compressed gas. The planet is huge. It's approximately 10 times bigger than Jupiter. The surface of the planet is very hot, the temperature being about 1500 degrees Celsius. The Earth has existed for about 4.5 billion years, while this one is 13 million years old. And it will remain hot for quite a while and will be lit by itself, or by its heat to be precise. With infrared light, we have telescopes that can take even infrared images, also known as night vision equipment. We have taken a picture of this planet using such a device. The geographic outlines of this planet are hard to discern, but it is fully visible as a light source. This means we can study the chemical composition of its atmosphere and some other things. Scientists are working hard to study this lonely planet. What is also unusual about this planet is its orbit. The only telescope which was capable of gathering very accurate measurements of the Vagabond for a few years in a row was the Hubble Space Telescope. Because this planet is far from its parent stars, it orbits them very slowly. The Hubble team was surprised to find that the remote world has an extreme orbit that is very inclined, elongated, and external to a dusty debris disk that surrounds the exoplanet's twin host stars. The debris disk itself is very extraordinary, perhaps due to the gravitational tug of the rogue planet. To highlight why this is weird, we can just look at our own solar system and see that all of the planets lie roughly in the same plane, explained Wang. It would be bizarre if, say, Jupiter just happened to be inclined 30 degrees relative to the plane that every other planet orbits in. This raises all sorts of questions about how HD 106906b ended up so far out on such an inclined orbit. The next planet on our journey is an exoplanet J1407b. At first glance, it's a spitting image of Saturn, a giant planet circled by a ring. It's not hard to get used to such an idea. We already know four ringed planets who are already engaged. For all we know, they might be married. Jokes aside, Jupiter has a very thin ring, just like Venus and Neptune, whose rings are barely distinguishable and everyone can imagine a beautiful bright ring around Saturn. 
So far, there are no biggies compared to the kind of ring around this baby. The planet itself is quite young, just 16 million years old. It shines brightly with infrared light. It was discovered recently in 2012. It was among the first exoplanets discovered to have a ring. If it was Saturn, we wouldn't notice its ring. This planet has a ring which is 200 times bigger than that of Saturn. It's just gigantic. It could stretch as far as the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Such a gigantic ring around this planet. Of course, it has lots of matter. For example, if we would take all the matter contained in the Saturn rings, such as stones, snow, dust, etc., and put it in one place, we would get an object 200 kilometers wide, something like a small asteroid. But if we put all the matter from this planet's ring, we would get an object 1.5 times bigger than the Earth. There are several hypotheses as to how this planet came to have such rings. This planet might have destroyed another Earth-sized planet that it was passing by and borrowed so much matter from it that it couldn't have become a planet. But those are just theories. The ring itself is truly gigantic. Because the star is sometimes eclipsed by the planet and its ring, the planet's parameters have been studied extensively, such as its density and size of the ring. It was a matter of lucky geometry, which played out quite nicely. For the first time in history, we could see such a gigantic ring around this super Saturn. Subscribe to our channel and please leave a like while we will try to surprise you with even more interesting facts about the universe.